Hi, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Today we're going to do a one week update on last week's test. I know I said it was going to be a month later, but this stuff's actually kind of smelly and gross, so I'm going to go ahead and get it out of my garage. Plus, some of the liquids are evaporating, so the test is kind of going to be null after this point. Okay, let's go ahead and get the test started. All right, let's go ahead and check up on what's happened after one week. Starting with the Marvel Mystery Oil, it looks like everything's actually still intact, nothing's swollen. Um, everything looks the same as before. I'm going to go ahead and get the comparison ring. As you can see, it's about the same size. It's still pretty durable. Nothing, uh, nothing new to report on anything from Marvel Mystery Oil. The cork gasket as well, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I'd say overall, Marvel Mystery Oil is pretty should be pretty reliable, should be pretty uh, easy on your gaskets if there's any concern there. Next, let's go to the STP. As you can see, same thing, don't look like there's much swelling going on. Same size as the sample size. Uh, the cork gasket, it appears, uh, appears to be in pretty good shape. Don't look like it's disintegrated the gasket any, so I would say STP overall is pretty pretty good bet that it'll be okay on your on your gaskets. Now coming up to the sea foam, I'm actually kind of surprised because it looks like some of the uh, some of the sea foam has gone away. It looks like it's uh, evaporated, but uh, which I don't believe it's supposed to do that. But it don't look like it's done any type of damage to any of our gaskets. The cork gasket, the one that I think would be uh, have any damage to it, any of them, it looks like it's fine too. Coming up on the Tecron, I know I forgot to do it on the on the 24 hour test, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Uh, it looks like it's fine. It looks like Tecron hasn't done any damage to any of the gaskets. All the game gaskets seem sturdy. No problems there. Now here's where we had the big surprise last time. It was, was uh, with the Berryman's B12. It, it actually, if you can see, it's actually evaporated all the way. There is no fluid left in there from the Berryman's. And this is also the one that on the first test it actually tore up the uh, tore up the gaskets. They were swollen and the cork gasket actually ripped in two. Uh, gasket does seem a little flimsier but something else I noticed since the Berryman's did evaporate it also the corks or I'm sorry the uh, the gasket swelling went down so this one actually isn't swollen up anymore like it was in the last video on to the gum out let's see here don't look like there's any damage from before so I don't look anything swollen they all look about the same like they should so I would say uh, gum outs pretty should be pretty safe on your gaskets now on the regular gasoline, of course there was no additives to this, so uh, you know it looks like it's fine. All then, there's no deterioration. This was more control. All right, well thanks for watching the one week update again. I didn't make a one month update because I wanted it to be practical for me to have this sitting around the garage. Also, some of the fluids here were evaporating some, so I probably wouldn't have made it a month. Uh, tell me what you think about the results. It looked like most of them were pretty safe, would be pretty safe for your gaskets. One of them didn't seem like they'd be that good. Berryman's, it actually, like I said, did swell them up when, it was, when they were soaked in there. They become unswollen whenever the fluid evaporated, but uh, also it did some pretty good damage to that cork gasket, as you can see in the first video. If you have any comments on this, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any other results with these. And Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the notification. Thanks.